What's going on YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. So I found the best knee pads that money can buy. In my opinion, these are the most comfortable knee pads that you're ever gonna find. And uh, you know, and it's it's not these guys. So I did a video on these. These are the G forms, and these are my summertime knee pads. So you know, my truck has this mat that if you get in there even with just jeans on and you kneel down on it it's like kneeling on rice so it's really really uncomfortable and I'm in and out of that thing all day long grabbing saws putting things in there taking things out oh I need this you know and then you're on the job you drop down to your knees you're putting in baseboard you, you know whatever you're doing I you know I just like not having to think about it and in the summertime I would wear shorts because it's hot out and I would slide these guys on. You know, they're lightweight. There's no hard shell. You know, there's no strap to pinch the back of your legs. And uh, these things are, you can't beat these for the summertime. These are for like extreme sports, like, uh, you know, mountain biking and, and all different kinds of things. But they're for extreme construction too, you know? But yeah, for these are a little expensive, but for the comfort factor, they're worth it, and I get like two summers out of these. Two complete summers, and at the end of the week, you take them off, you, you throw them in the wash with your clothes, and then you just hang them to dry, and then you're good to go. And there's been so many times where I'd get home from work, sit down at the computer, and then look down, and I'm like, oh crap, my knee pads are still on. Didn't even know I had them on. That's what you want. That's what you want in a knee pad. So comfortable you don't even know you have them on. So those those were the summertime jobs. But in the winter, you know, I, you can't really slip those under your pants because then, you know, you're still wearing out the knee of your, your pants. And it just, it wasn't, it wasn't comfortable. So if you go to Home Depot and go to the knee pad aisle, pretty much every single knee pad that's there I bought at least once. And you know, I either gave it to somebody or threw them in the trash. So you see all these fancy ones with 15 layers of gel, and yeah, there's 15 layers of gel, but they weigh 50 pounds. Nobody wants 50 pound weights around their knees all day. So you know, criteria to me is no, no hard surface on the knee. I want it to be flexible, and it cannot be square. Come on, who wants a square knee pad? Like. You ever kneel down on one of those the wrong way and it just twists and there goes your kneecap. Yep. Very uncomfortable. So, you know, at Home Depot, if you go over to the uh, tile section or sometimes you'll find them in the, uh, the knee pad section, but anyone that knows Home Depot will know that they had these orange and black ones that said HDX on them. For whatever reason, they've disappeared. And uh, I think these took their place. So now they're QEP. But these things were, were great, you know? Lightweight, no hard surface, had padding, one strap, didn't pinch the back of my legs, and I could wear these things all day long, and uh, I didn't even know I had them on, you know what I mean? I mean, these things weren't the best, and I would go through, I would say, somewhere between two and four pairs of these per winter because they just don't last this is completely flat here completely flat this yeah this whole area there's no more padding so yeah these these things just didn't last but you know it is what it is this is what I used because I couldn't find anything else that was more comfortable so I you know I needed a new pair Obviously, these things were flat. So I was at the depot today, and I was gonna actually, I was looking for these. I was like, well, I'm gonna just get another set. But then I happened to stumble across these, and I never saw Milwaukee knee pads. And they actually have uh, a few different kinds, but uh, I tell you what, these things are really, really nice. And I think they're like 25 to 30 bucks, depending on where you go. And these are, the Milwaukee 48-73-6000 free flex knee pads. 
and right on the packaging it said lightweight and flexible and they are they're extremely lightweight there's one strap one strap so it doesn't pinch the back of your legs you can see it's got like this uh, very it's very thin outer shell to protect against you know it shredding and ripping and it's not hard these are completely flexible they're so nice and then you have your nice padding on the inside and I noticed this padding feels like this padding this stuff does not go flat the knee pads will start to evaporate before this padding goes flat this stuff stays nice and squishy always and that's what this feels like and then you'll notice at the top this uh, little accordion job here and I was like what is that for besides like every time I'm down on my knees and I'm outside shoveling dirt gets in there but you know whatever but check this out so oops so when you when you put these on You can drop down your knees, you know, and I can shimmy around like this and not have to worry. And they're not rolling on me. Like the knee pad's not trying to twist. Every time, you know, it just kind of finds. Then you can stand up and this accordion, this accordion thing here squishes over the top of your kneecap. So, I mean, I could go for a jog right now and they won't slide down. So here's here's the difference between, you know, a knee pad that comes from, you know, a reputable company and it's not like super flashy, you know what I mean? And obviously, they tested these because these things are great. I I I never I've never found a knee pad as comfortable as these. But, you know, you, you go into Home Depot and then you have those cheaper brands like Husky and all those other brands, right? And they know homeowners are going to be walking in there and, uh, you know, they might be doing a job for themselves or, oh, I'm going to need a good set of knee pads, right? So they walk over there and you got all these flashy knee pads, like two layers of foam and 15 layers of gel. It's got armor plating on the front so you can, you know, kneel on nails if you want, but... In the real world, they're uncomfortable as hell because they're heavy, they're square, so every time you kneel down wrong, they twist, and uh, yeah, it, it's not good for everyday use. So people that actually use these every single day and want to be able to just focus on their job and not their knee pad rolling out from under them, I would check these out. And there's only one Home Depot in my area. I mean. I've been to several Home Depots all around here and only one of them had these in stock. So I would actually go out of your way if you have to. If you're looking for knee pads and you have to order them online, I would order them online because these things are worth every single penny for your comfort. And you know what? Keep your knees better longer because, uh, yeah, that's the one thing about construction is we are going to be cripples when we're older unless we take care of our knees. And our joints so yeah make sure you subscribe thumbs are up see you in the next one